Why is he not addressing the women? <laughs> because it's not in his interest to do so. This is the blueprint to pandering. <laughs> well, they're, they're men of code. You know, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say both of them are honest, but they are men of code. Um, yeah, even though they, they do agree, they do agree on a lot of things. Um, they're still speaking on different wavelengths because because Yad is missing that balance. This is why he's so extreme because he's unbalanced. You know, um, and I always tell my single, I always tell my single mother homegirls, like, hey, you, if you want a seriously serious and committed relationship, you need to wait till at least that child is old enough to no longer need a babysitter. You know what I mean? And she was just like, they'd be like, what? <laughs> you know, they, they ain't trying to hear that. They do not want to hear that. But, um, you know, and um, so you have to look at what is possible versus what is probable. What is possible, meaning can it happen? You know what I'm saying? Yes, it can happen. But what is probable, meaning how likely is it to happen, which is little to no. You see what I'm saying? Um, it is not very probable that you will find love in, uh, in marriage um, while having a young child, at least. At least a young child. Um you know, you more than likely you're going to have to wait till that child is grown. You know what I mean? And and it's it, because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about the child. When you have a child, it's no longer about you, and no one tells that to women. So, um, yes, yes, it's in a, it's in a woman's nature to be submissive uh, to some degree. Uh, but but it's, if she's not, if she hasn't been raised that way, if it's not something that's been uh, exemplified and taught to her, um, she's she's gonna she's, she's not gonna know how to do it, and more more so likely she's more than likely she's gonna refuse to do it. If you, if you if you ask your girl what kind of future do you want for your son and then she starts talking about what kind of booties he's going to wear that's not a woman you want to have kids with <laughs> if, she, if that's the first thought that comes to her mind about her child's future not what kind of school he going to go to or how uh, what kind of living situation you going to have him under what kind of relationship you going to have him under if all she could talk about is what booties he's going to wear and what kind of stroller he's going to ride in that's not a woman you want to have kids with because she thinks single motherhood is cute you know what i'm saying he was he was really confronting him about the pandering you know what i mean and 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 you know, and really calling him out about it. You know, people people called out Derrick Jackson. You know what I mean when he was when he was doing his whole campaign, or whatever. But Derrick Jackson was never the type to really sit down with anybody because he was kind of like an obvious panderer. This guy, he comes across very very sincere because he, once again he uses a lot of that emotionalism. He's a lot more charismatic than than uh, Derrick Jackson was. And you know, th these guys they evolve. They pick up on the formula. They they're reading you, ladies. They're reading you. And this is where the this is the the crux of the core of the extremism in his message. You know what I'm saying? Only addressing the minority of men. There's a small minority of men. Who are impregnating a bunch of women left and right and not taking care of their kids. There's a small minority of men, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, going upside their woman's head. These, 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 this, this much, this much out of all of these men is this much men doing those kind of things. But, you know, a, 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 18, a young 18 year old girl, you know, who all she, who's, who's lived, who's grown up off the, off the system, you know, it's very easy for her to say, well, my mama did it, I could do it too. It's very easy for her to say, well, all the women I've seen have lived like this, you know what I'm saying, I could do it too. What's wrong with it? You know what I'm saying? Or, or they can say, this is all I know. Or, or well, what else I'm gonna do? What else you got for me? What, what else can I do? You know what I'm saying? They, they'll think they'll uh, uh, psychologically, you know, get, get comfortable and say, well, this is the best I could do. You know, they kind of made it cute. You know what I'm saying? In a way, they they made it cute because they didn't have anything else to to hold their head up about. They didn't have anything else to be proud of. You know what I'm saying? They grew up in a time where it was, being a single a single mother was a shameful thing. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that they made a live in and held and, and, and held held their own and you know they, they beat their chest about it. And so now these young Gen Z women coming up behind them, look, they saw that all around them in their household, in their fatherless households, and said, Oh, okay, so they didn't they didn't not, not only did they think it was cute, they thought that this is how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all they know, it's all they've ever seen. You know. You know what I mean? Um, this this gentleman, this Yada gentleman, has been very viral with the with the ladies, um, because he's kind of piggybacking off of the whole sprinkle sprinkle uh, philosophy and outlook on life. You know what I mean? Um, but from a man, he's kind of like the male version of the sprinkle sprinkle. And just like Derek Jackson, the men see through this, see through all of that extremism from from a mile. You know, um, and when you're just when you're just harping on the men, the men are the abusers and abusive mentally, physically. You know what I mean? When you come in with all of that emotion in them and extremism. It's a red flag to men. It's like, bro, bro, you you you're doing a little, you're going a little left. Not only are you going left, you leaving things out. You're trying to be. You, not everything is that 100. percent You know what I mean? There's, there's a this this. You know what I'm saying? You're planting a flag. You're planting a black and white flag in gray area. You know what I'm saying? And that that's never gonna work. You know, um, a lot of social a lot of social media plays and triggers on emotionalism, and it's an echo chamber to emotionalism. You know, it's a lot of hearing what you want to hear, or not hearing what you want to hear as far as. You know, taking something in and then just hearing what you want to hear, but hearing what you want to hear as, oh, I don't like, I don't like the way this person makes me feel. Swipe. I don't want to hear what this person is talking about. Swipe. Even though it may be truthful and it may be what you need to hear. 
You know what I mean? What makes him different from Derek Jackson is he says things that a lot of that makes sense. It makes sense to men. You know what I'm saying? Men really don't disagree with or argue with. You know what I mean? But the, once again, it's the extremism um, where women have so many options. Um, it's hard for them to pay attention to pay attention to a guy, let alone just one guy. Um, and they think they think they have so many options, and they think that you know um, guys will always be there and they'll just keep coming. You know what I mean? And they, they think that, and so they, it's easy to, it's easy to overlook your future husband in that in that aspect. And a lot of them don't really want to get married, but then by the time they want to get married, it's too late. I feel like I feel like in his mind he's not really pandering. He's pandering, but in his mind he's not. Men's, like I, I feel like he he comes he's coming from he's extreme because he comes from extreme circumstances. Antoine grew up with a mother and a father. Yada didn't. And and he, he and that's all he talks about. That's all he talks about is those kind of men, you know what I mean? And that's what that's what gets that's what drives up the algorithm because it's, it's emotionally triggering. A lot of a lot of especially black people, a lot of black people have developed the stereotypes that they that they have simply because the government has has uh, financed them and allowed them to. You know what I mean? It's it's scary to say, it's sad to say, but a lot of women don't care about their kids. Their kids are just props. <laughs> their kids are props and tools to them. So you knew who you was dealing with, you knew who you was getting with. You know what I mean? Um, and, and and like a lot of the, the majority of these chicks are not victims. The major, they're not. They're not victims. Take your child if you're being a kid. And that's what women want to hear. Leave a man. Leave a man. Leave a man. <laughs> that's what they want to hear. And a lot of a lot of these relationships is not is not what they making it making it out to be. They're not. They making it out to be. He's abusive. Why? How is he abusive? A lot of these women, like when you ask them why they leaving, you know what I'm saying? The, the answer is so like vague and foggy. Like you you almost forget that the, the answer they told you. So it's such bullshit. You just forget it.